Hi, I'm Scott Noonan, the CEO of Audio Advice. This video is designed to help you get the perfect sharpness setting for your television or projector. If you have not yet watched my top five tips for improving your home theater video, I would suggest you watch that first and then come back to this video as it covers the five major items you want to adjust in order. In a few seconds, I'm gonna bring up a test page with text on it that looks like this. I'm gonna have you write down your sharpness setting before making any adjustments and then run sharpness all the way up. Now I want you to focus on the word example in this text. Okay, so if you watch carefully as I run sharpness up, you're gonna see inside this E, see right there, the white lines and coming along this X and inside the E there and all around it and actually a little bit all around all of this text. Now watch as I bring it down. Watch these white borders that exist on the E and the X. As I bring it down, they slowly fade away and right where they're totally gone now, boom, that's your sharpness where you want it. Once the extra white border is gone, write down your new sharpness level. On average, you would rather have sharpness too low than too high as sharpness actually adds borders that are not in the content to increase the perception of sharpness. With a good television or projector and high resolution content, higher sharpness actually degrades the original content. After a couple minutes, we will show you a second test pattern with blue bars for you to do the same thing. Okay, so now watch as I bring the sharpness up, you're gonna see a white line start to form right here that is not actually in the content and some noise above the black line. So now I've got it max sharpness. You can see the white there. Plus I'm gonna start bringing it down. Watch this white line start to go away and this noise above that black line go away as well. So it starts to go down, starts to go down, and now it's gone. Right there's your sharpness. One thing to mention is that we've recorded this video in HDR. For many projectors, SDR and HDR have separate sharpness settings. So if you really want to go the extra mile, run this test with HDR turned on in your source device like Apple TV or Roku, and then turn off HDR and run it again. In most cases, the results will be the same, but you'll want to make sure you've set sharpness correctly for both SDR and HDR content. So let's get started.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out our companion videos on the top five tips for improving your home theater video and audio, which are in the same playlist and linked below. If you follow these tips in just a few minutes, you could substantially improve your home theater or media room. If you have any questions or are looking to upgrade your theater, give us a call or chat with us at audioadvice.com or check out one of our award-winning showrooms. Also, check out our free home theater design tool, how-to videos, inspiration gallery, and home theater showcase videos at audiovice.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.